Frank Yosa here, CEO of Ketone. Today I'm going to talk about friends don't let friends mix MCT oil and ketone ester. This is our ketone ester, KE4. Um, does not mix with MCT oil. That's the quick and, uh, but people oftentimes want to know more details of why. So the ketone ester that we have is D beta hydroxybutyrate D13 butane diol. It's a bond of the two molecules. And when it goes into your body, it's kind of like a fast release and a slow release. It separates and the DBHB goes straight into the bloodstream and then you can test your blood ketones. The 1,3-butane dial, however, goes through the liver. And when it goes through the liver, it then spits out more D-beta-hydroxybutyrate. So it's a fast release and a slow release. The problem then becomes when people are trying to, I understand people are trying to save a buck and I'll have a tip at the end of this, but they try to mix MCT oil, specifically the C8, this is one brand C8, but you've also maybe heard of, uh, this is Brain Fuel, this Brain Octane, Brain This, Brain That, a whole bunch of C8s out there. Um, and real quickly, there's a bunch of different types of coconut oil. There's the hard coconut oil that, you know, if you live in the northern states, it's always a hard lard. And then there's uh, liquid coconut oil, and it has to do with the number of the chains. So the C, the C8 is called C8. The, the number is eight. That's the strongest one that people can consume. As you go higher in the number, the more it gets closer to a C14, C16, and that's uh, the the hard lard kind. This kind is liquid, so it's more like a balance. It says back here how much of it is in the MCT category, but it's more of a you know C10 a little bit, and then C12 and C14, and then you've got M generic, you know, MCT oil, and that is might have a little bit of C8, C10, and C12. Well, only the C8 for the most part. The C8 is the only one that makes ketones. And how does it make them? It goes through the liver, and it makes uh, a slow release ketone. Problem is, they're both going through the same pathway, the the C8 MCT oil and the ketone ester. And when you take too much uh, C8, you will have just gastro problems, feeling like someone's stabbing you with a knife. And actually the number two video on our YouTube channel is my wife who took just a little bit too much uh, MCT oil, even though she, uh, C8 oil, even though she had taken it for a long time in her morning coffee. This is before, you know, we had the ester available. I didn't drink it for uh, a year and a half as we were you know, trying to make it. Um, she just took a little bit too much and she's like, oh my God, what have you done to me? You know, you gave me too much extremely painful. Well, people experience that when they mix the ester and the C8 oil. And when I say mix, I mean even in like a three hour period in either direction. Now, I'd love for someone to prove me wrong saying, hey, if I took a small amount, it did nothing. Or if I took it after half an hour or I took it this and that, you know, great. That's why we have our Facebook forum. Uh, the shortcut is on ketonaid.com slash Facebook. People will share their experiences. But on that forum, we've had three or four people say, hey, I took the ester at 9 a.m. and I took, you know, MCT oil at 12 and boom, that did not work out well. Also, the other problem is uh, ketone ester you're supposed to take on an empty stomach for it to get delivered through your system. The C8 is the opposite. You're supposed to have food in your system. Otherwise, you'll have, you know, more GI problems. That's why with the Bulletproof coffee, you really want to mix it in with some cream and more stuff than just straight coffee and C8. So don't get me wrong. I love oil. This is my favorite oil. This uh, organic you know, super inexpensive liquid cooking, cooking oil. I think this is like seven bucks a pound. They just came out with a, uh, an MCT version so that the look, the number is a little bit lower. Uh, the reason I like this is you can just take more of it. You know, if you're on a keto diet, which ketone ester, keto is not required, but if you are on a keto diet, you can just take more of this. As you take the MCT oils, you're limited by that, you know, C8 uh, issue. So you don't want to mix them up. So why again? Because they're both going through the same pathway and you have the C8 that's like this big dude where only only 10% of the C8 makes ketones on a tablespoon basis, only 10% of it versus the ester. So a tablespoon of ester versus a tablespoon of C8, 10x, actually it might even be 20x difference. So meanwhile, the ketone ester is trying to go, or the 1,3-butane dial, the portion of the ketone ester is trying to go through the liver, but you have this you know big C8 fat molecule that's blocking its ability to get through and it'll probably do it'll probably set you back further it'll probably block the the esters effectiveness more than any benefit that you might get from having c8 
Now, then someone said, well, what if you add regular coco coconut oil around the same time as the ester? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. You can try that out. We have had one or two reports that people put took a teaspoon of just regular uh, liquid coconut oil and they prefer it. So that's a possibility. But the straight C8, people ask me all the time. Oh, and you, you might now say, but wait a second, this scientist was on a podcast and he talked about mixing this or there's these you know two papers that talk about mixing MCT oil with ketone ester. Let me go into that. First of all, it was on mice. Mice aren't able to yell and scream about how, oh, maybe they are. Maybe they have a system to detect whether they're not whether the mice have GI issues, but you know, those are mice, those aren't humans. Secondly, the ester that they were using is actually a different ester. So it's not commercially available, but the word ester just means a bond of two things. It's a you know, bond of two molecules and theirs is uh, acetoacetate. So it's not beta hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate, the other less powerful, less ATP ketone and mixed with racemic 1,3-butanediol. We're not gonna get into the whole racemic you know, debate right now. Maybe we'll do that for another video. Um, and maybe that you know is fine with humans, but this ester with C8, not something you want to mix. Now, if you want to play around and have, uh, I would prefer, recommend you take the ester in the morning. But if you wanted to take you know C8 between lunch and dinner, or uh, maybe even with food at lunch, would be risky. If you can try that out. That you know that might that might work for you. But then you know someone might ask, well, what about adding a ketone salt? And here's another ketone salt. Um, and the ester, yes, that's actually good. Oh, not the racemic. I don't recommend the racemic, but if you have a non-racemic version, and that's a whole other video, sorry, that's it's a rabbit hole, whole other video on racemic, uh, which is also on my podcast. Hopefully I'll figure out a way to link it here. Um, you can mix them. We actually do tell people to add electrolytes, you know, when they are using the drink, because it can be a diuretic. It can flush your water out a little bit and salt can go with it. So. It is a good idea to add salts. It's less expensive to add just the regular, you know, electrolytes, salt itself, salt pills. Let's see if I have one on here. I don't. Um, but you can use a a ketone, non-racemic ketone salt. But these are less, these are more expensive on a gram per gram basis than the ester. So if you're trying to do it to save money, wouldn't necessarily recommend it. If you're doing it to try to get rid of what you already have, yeah, sure, that's that's fine. But if you're gonna buy something new, just go out and buy some electric, you know electrolyte packets and we don't sell electrolyte packets uh we're gonna be laser focused on ketones some of our competitors are like wow we have revolutionary mct oil yeah it's the exact same thing as you know 40 different companies on amazon so we're laser focused on delivering different uh ketone uh options i think that's it all right so you can uh make sure you join us on our facebook group and our Facebook page as well. And most of our newest content is on Instagram.